Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we will discuss how to add, subtract and multiply polynomials. Now in our earlier session we had discussed that now a polynomial function is denoted by f of x and a polynomial function in one variable is given by a n into x raised to power n plus so on plus a4 into x raised to power 4 plus a3 into x raised to power 3 plus a2x square plus a1x plus a0. Where the degree n of the polynomial has to be a whole number and a0, a1 and so on up to an are all coefficients and the leading coefficient an is not equal to 0. And now let us discuss addition and subtraction of polynomials in one variable. Now for adding and subtracting, we must keep in mind the following points. Firstly, for applying operation of addition and subtraction on polynomials, we must keep in mind the like terms and unlike terms. Now, when two terms in an expression have same variables and exponents or both are numbers, then these two terms are called like terms or similar terms. Now if two terms in a given expression are like terms, then the variable and its exponent in these two terms is always same, but the coefficients are different. Now if two terms in an expression have same variables, having different exponents, then these type of terms are called unlike terms. Now let us discuss this example. Now here, see the first expression. Now in this expression, there are two terms and they have same variable a and its exponent is also same that is 1. So these two terms are called like terms and now we can add these like terms. Now since the coefficients of these two terms are different that is 3 and 5 so we can add the coefficients of two terms, so it will be 3 plus 5 the whole into a, which is equal to 8 into a, that is 8a. Similarly, you can see the second expression. In this, the two terms have same variable, that is x, and its exponent is also same, that is so, these two terms are like terms. Now, coefficients of these two terms are different. So, we will perform this operation as 1 minus 4 the whole into x square, which is equal to minus 3 into x square, that is minus 3x square. Now, in the third expression, the terms are constant, that is 4 and 6. It means these terms are also like terms. And as these terms are constant, so we can directly add them and get 4 plus 6, which is equal to 10. Now, look at the fourth expression. Here, the variable x is same. But its exponent 
is different in the two terms that is in the first term the exponent is 3 and in the second term the exponent is 2 so the two terms are unlike terms and the unlike terms cannot be added or subtracted so this expression will remain as it is now the commutative associative and distributive properties are true for the polynomials just like integers and we can use these properties when working with polynomials also we should write polynomial in descending order of powers it means the term having highest exponent is written first then the term with second highest power is written and so on in the end we write the constant term now in this example you can see that the spelling only is written in such a way that the term with highest exponent that is 5 is written first followed by next higher power that is 3 and in the end we write the constant term or lowest power term now keeping in mind these points let us start with this example in which we have to add these two polynomials here first of all we will open the brackets and this is equal to 5 into y is to power 5 plus 3 y cube minus 1 plus 8 y cube minus 7 y square plus 11 since the commutative, associative and distributive properties hold, so we can interchange the positions of terms and we can combine the like terms. So this is equal to, now here you can see that 3y cube and 8y cube are like terms. Similarly, minus 1 and plus 11 are like terms so this is equal to 5 into y raised to power 5 plus 3y cube plus 8y cube minus 7y square plus 11 minus 1 so this is equal to 5 into y raised to power 5 plus 3 plus 8 the whole into y cube minus 7y square and as these two terms are constant so we can directly subtract them and here 11 minus 1 is 10 so this will be plus 10 and further this is equal to 5 into y is to power 5 plus 11y cube minus 7y square plus 10. Now here the spelling number is written in descending order of powers. So this is the required answer and this was horizontal addition. Now we can also add vertically. Now suppose we have to add these two polynomials vertically. Now here we have to add these two expressions vertically. For this we will write the first expression in descending order of powers. And below it we write the second expression Keeping in mind that like terms are written just below each other. So here 3y cube 
and 8y cube are like terms. So we will write 8y cube below 3y cube and then minus 7y square and minus 1 and plus 11 are like terms. So we will write plus 11 below minus 1. Now here you can see that the term with exponent 2 is missing in first expression. So we have left the space here. Now let us add these terms vertically. First of all, here it will be 5 into y is to power 5. As there is no term with exponent 5 in the second expression, so here it will be 5 into y is to power 5 plus, now let us add 3y cube and 8y cube, so it will be 11y cube. And next it will be minus 7y square and then plus 11 minus 1 is plus 10. So adding the like terms we have got the result. And now let us learn subtraction of two polynomials. Now here let us subtract 8y cube minus 7y square plus 11 from 5 into y is to power 5 plus 3y cube minus 1. Now here we will also apply the same rules as in addition. Firstly, let us open the brackets. So this is equal to 5 into y is to power 5 plus 3y cube minus 1 minus 8y cube plus 7y square minus 11. Now combining the like terms, this will be equal to 5 into y raised to power 5 plus 3 minus 8 the whole into y cube plus 7y square minus 1 minus 11 will be minus 12. And further this is equal to 5 into y raised to power 5. Now 3 minus 8 is minus 5 and minus into plus is minus. So this will be minus 5y cube plus 7y square minus 12. So this is the required answer. And here this is called horizontal subtraction. Now let us subtract the given two polynomials vertically. Here also when we write the two polynomials with the like terms under one another, so we have written the polynomials like this. And as we have to subtract, so we will change the sign of each term of the second polynomial. So here it is positive, so it will be negative. Then here it is negative, that is minus 7y square, so it will be positive. Now here it is plus 11, so it will be minus. So here, changing the sign of each term of the second expression, the new terms will be minus 8y cube plus 7y square minus 11. Now on subtracting, it will be 5 into y raised to power 5. Now 3y cube minus 8y cube will be minus 5y cube. Now here it is plus 7y square. And then minus 1 minus 11 is minus 12. So this is the required answer. Now let us discuss multiplication of polynomials. Now in multiplication we will use product law of exponents which says if bases are same then we will add the powers that is x raised to power a into x raised to power b is equal to 
x raised to the power a plus b. And we will also use distributive property. And according to this property, a into b plus c the whole is equal to a b. That is a into b plus a c that is a into c. Now for more terms, we can also use this property. It means to multiply any two polynomials, multiply each term of first polynomial by each term of second polynomial. Now let us find this product. Now the first term of first polynomial is x square. So we multiply it with the second polynomial. Similarly, we will multiply the second term, that is 2x, with second polynomial. So this is equal to x square into 4x square minus 3x plus 2 the whole plus 2x into 4x square minus 3x plus 2 the whole. Now we will multiply the term with each term written in brackets. Now this is equal to x square into 4x square plus x square into minus 3x plus x square into 2 plus 2x into 4x square plus 2x into minus 3x plus 2x into 2. And now we will use product law of exponents. Now this is equal to, now x square into 4x square is 4 into x is to power 2 plus 2, which is 4. So this is equal to 4 into x is to power 4. Now plus into minus is minus. And x square into 3x will be 3 into x raised to the power 2 plus 1, which is 3. So it is 3 into x raised to the power 3 plus 2x square plus, now 2 into 4 is 8, and x into x square is x cube. Now plus into minus is minus, and 2x into 3x is 6x square plus now 2x into 2 is 4x. Now combining the like terms, this is equal to 4 into x raised to power 4. Now these two are like terms, so this will be plus of minus 3 plus 8 the whole into x cube. Now here these two are like terms. So it will be plus of 2 minus 6 the whole into x square plus 4x which is equal to 4 into x raised to power 4 plus now minus 3 plus 8 is 5, so it will be 5x cube. Now 2 minus 6 is minus 4 and minus into plus is minus. So this will be minus 4x square plus 4x. And this is the required answer. So in this session we have learned how to add subtract and multiply polynomials. And this completes our session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.